What's up? What's up? At the bottom of the hour, this is your boy, Big Vern. We got something going on right here with Joe Barry. Joe Barry, he's out as Packers defensive coordinator after three seasons. This is also coming to you from The Athletic from Matt Schneidman and Amos Morales the third. Again, if you don't have an athletic subscription, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to those folks and donate to independent sports media. No spin, just sports. Okay, so Joe Barry will not return as the Green Bay Packers defensive coordinator. Barry's status was a hot topic throughout 2023 season, particularly after a back-to-back -back losses with the New York Giants and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in weeks 14 and 15. Now, I wouldn't consider that just being the reason they let him go or them being justified in that decision. I would think they would be prisoners of the moment because Tampa actually made the playoff. New York was atrocious and a hot dumpster fire. But Tampa actually won the division and they made the playoffs. So it had to be something more than that that would have got him canned. At least I would see that. You know, I'm 50-50 on that assessment. But we'll take a quick 20-second break from an unofficial sponsor of the show. And we will let you know about what else is going on and Packerland. BK, have it your way. Try the signature Wapa series or any of the delightful food on the menu download the burger king app or go visit the good folks down at your local burger king or order online bk have it your way so the packers the defense improved following that stretch and the team clinched a playoff berth after finishing the season with three straight wins the unit stifled the dallas cowboys and a wild card roundup set and had the Packers coach Matt LaFleur called a fantastic defensive performance against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, if you need any revision, well, what they call revisionist history, uh, go look at my videos. I was telling people before the season ended, I think around week 13 or week 14, that Jordan Love was having a phenomenal season and Matt LaFleur was doing one of the best coaching jobs despite having no household names and no superstars and they were going to make the playoffs. Let's write in the videos. Two days after the 24 to 21 divisional round loss to the top seeded 49ers, LaFleur was asked about the status of Barry whose contract was not set to expire this offseason. LaFleur's, he says, I know there's going to be a lot of long-term big picture questions. I'm not there yet, fellas, LaFleur said. We're just starting the process. I gave everybody off yesterday. I came in yesterday and watched the tape, all three phases but we're just getting into the evaluation portion right now. So probably not going to have many answers for you guys. Haven't met with any of the coaches yet. That'll start this afternoon. Certainly meet with the coordinators and then go down to the position coaches. Okay, that was political speak for, you'll know when I'm ready to tell you. I gave you my time. <laughs> he, he basically was saying, look, you'll know when I'm ready to tell you. I gave you my timeline and the process. Now beat it. But he has to be political about it. 
when asked. Barry just finished his third season as Green Bay's defensive play caller. Since he became the defensive coordinator in 2021, the Packers ranked 12th in points allowed per game, 21st in defense expected points added per play, and tied for 13th in takeaways and are 25th in opponent third down conversion percentages, including the regular season and the playoffs. Yikes. <laughs> Those numbers aren't good enough to get you hired anywhere. So now that he's out, Packers fans, who do you want to see in that role? Who can bring that defensive edge to the Cheeseheads and get them to the NFC title game in 2024-2025? Just let me know. But Joe Barry, he's fired. He's toast. He's toast. Thank you all again. <laughs> Thank you all again. Check out the new, the end of the monologue in the show. Going to go ahead and wrap that right now. Mm-hmm.